hotkeys can help you do various tasks very quickly just by pressing a couple of keys on your computer keyboard or even sometimes just one key. So let's have a look at how hotkeys can help you. So if you're still wondering what a hotkey is and what it does, an example of this would be if I press R on my computer keyboard, you can see it starts recording. So that's a hotkey. Pressing R starts the recording. And that's a very basic hotkey. Some of the tasks require you to press two or three keys at the same time. So let's dig in here and check out all the different hotkeys that are available and how you can change them up to suit your needs. So we're going to go into File, then down to Preferences. And now over here, we want to click on Hotkeys. And you can see they're nicely organized for you. And if we click on one, we'll say Edit. You can see all of the hotkeys that are pre-mapped for us. And there's some in here that aren't mapped. All we have to do is click on this plus right next to it. And then you can press your key combination. So I'm going to try control G and it says it's currently assigned to add audio track. So I don't want that one maybe, or if I wanted, I could overwrite this, but I'm just going to cancel out of that and we'll try a different one here. And this time we'll do control U. And that's not connected with anything. So if I click OK, you can see now link selected clips is now control U. So let's just test that out. I'll click OK. So what I'll do is click on kick and then hold down control, click on snare so that both of these clips are selected. And then I'll press control U and you can see that's now linked these two clips together. So there's an example of creating your own hotkey and it works right away. Let's go back in file preferences and we'll go back into hotkeys. And now let's just go down to mix and we'll see what's in here. You have that record that I showed you earlier. You have rewind to start all kinds of different things in here that you could create hotkeys for, or you can change hotkeys up. So if you wanted, you could, do add marker, you can see is control and slash. If we wanted to change that, we would just click here and then we would create a new combination, maybe control M, but that says it's for mute. But let's say I want to do that. Now we have two in there. So let's remove this one. And now we have control M as add marker. Now let's go into track where we should have mute in here. And you can see mute now doesn't have a hotkey associated with it. So you could choose to create a new one for it or just leave it as is if you never plan on using a hotkey for mute. So now if we went in here and we did all kinds of changes and made these hotkeys exactly the way we like them, we could actually go up and click on new set and we'll just save it as hotkey set two. And you can see there's a couple of options here. Initialize this from the current hotkey set. So that means saving everything that we just did or initialize from the Mixcraft default, which would mean starting all over. So we want this one right here. Click OK. And now you can see up here we have hotkey set two. And if we notice mute doesn't have a hotkey. If now if we go back up here to hotkey set one, we click on that and you can see mute is now the control M again. And if we go back to hotkey set two that we just saved, mute doesn't have that control M there anymore because this is the new set that we saved. And if you ever think you're in trouble and you want to go back to the start, you would just click reset and it will reset everything to the default settings and you can start over again or just use whatever is already there. I do recommend going in here and getting familiar with some of the hotkeys that you might use more often. And maybe there's a feature or function that you wish there's a hotkey for. It might actually already be mapped in there. You just have to click and look for whatever it is you want to see. And you can do a search in there too, if you want. So let's do mute. And you can see there's all the different mutes, but we wanted this one here. Nothing's linked to it because we're on hotkey set two. Let's go to one. And there it is. Join me in the next video when we go over the alpha and omni samplers that come with Mixcraft 10. Mm -hmm.